Uh, Coach, how's the uh, fall slate been treating you? What have you been looking for out of your team to uh, grow during these kind of exhibition matches? Well, um, we've got to replace quite a few players. You know, we lost several good ones and uh, lost our pitcher, number one pitcher, Mindy Lorimore, and, and Melissa Bell was an all-conference player. Ali Saigon was an all-conference player. Lena Downey was a starting outfielder and on and on. So we've been looking to kind of uh, see what we've got in our new players and throw them into the fire right away. And, uh, and then uh, we've also... Uh, been defensively trying to play some pe people at multiple positions just so we can get a, a backup plan for, for some injuries or if someone's struggling a little bit. So, so far it's been going real well. I've, I'm very happy with some of the new players we've got and uh, we've been playing pretty well. And uh, we've got this weekend left and that, then the fall games will be over, but we do have two weeks of practice left. But uh, so far I'm encouraged by what I see. Are you able to get like a super clear picture of what your team will look like in the spring based off of right here? I mean, how much does it really help with all the new people coming in? Yes, you can get a very good picture of what the spring is going to be like. Um, uh, this year's projected number one pitcher, uh, Alyssa Cornejo, you know, she'll be back by uh, January or so uh, from an injury. So we're really looking forward to her taking over that number one spot. And Jen Spencer has been in a number three role the last two years, and we're looking forward to her uh, stepping up. And then uh, we've got some key positions, you know, up the middle, shortstop and second base are very key. And, and we've got Rachel Burdett back at second and Jordan Grant here back in center field. And Sarah was our starting catcher. So we're gonna be pretty good up the middle. Uh, shortstop is a question. And right now looking at what we've done in the fall, it looks like I've got three players that can handle that position very well. So uh, a lot of good newcomers. Yeah, we're going over to Grand Forks on Saturday. We're going to play Moorhead, uh, the first game at 1.15. And then uh, we'll play UND about 3.30. And that's always been a good test to go over there and play them. We've had really good success over there the last couple of years. And I don't think we've lost a game over there in the, the last couple of falls. And uh, it's really good to, to play teams that you don't play during the year and you don't know a lot about their players. And it's, it's fun and it's good for the kids and it kind of helps you develop some chemistry going into the winter. Uh, for you two players, I mean, how fun is it to have the fall ball schedule just to improve your game and just be able to get some actual games in so like your off season doesn't seem, I guess, quite as long, right? Um, I, I don't know. I always enjoy the fall season. I think it's a good time for us to get to know each other because, like Coach said, we have a lot of new players this year. Um, so we're still kind of getting to know each other, but being able to play games and stuff like that, it's a fun way to, to kind of test ourselves and see where we're at. Um, but I enjoy it. I like it a lot. So. Um, the fall games are fun. It's a good way to get some team chemistry together. We have, a, I think our newcomers outnumber the returners, so it's nice to get to know your players and how you're going to fan out in the spring. Overall, coach, do you feel that your team is, uh, you know, faster on the you know base paths? Are you better defensively? Are you better on the mound? I, if you could like, characterize what you're seeing so far, I would say that uh, team speed uh, is about the same. Uh, Melissa Bell and and Ali Saiga could run run a little bit, and uh, we've got a couple new players that are pretty good in that area too. So our team speed should be should be decent. However. We're going to have a couple players on our team this year that we're going to be able to stick in the sixth inning and seventh inning in running situations. Uh, we've got a freshman uh, by the name of Tyler Holland that can that can fly, and, and she can, she's going to help us in that role. And uh, uh, pitching-wise, I think we'll be maybe better than last year. That's kind of an unknown right now with, with Cornejo coming off an injury and stuff. But, but uh, I think that... Uh, your freshman and sophomore year, you're learning the league and you're learning everything. And and Spencer and Corneo are both juniors this year. It's time for them to, to get it done. And, and then uh, the number three pitcher, it's looking like right now that that's going to be a, a junior college transfer. Um, Clarissa Ramirez has pitched, pitched pretty well for us this fall. So I think that could be a positive also. And I think, you know, last year we were on the way to having a great season until we lost four players to injuries you know, broken hands and, and, and such. So 
We, I think we lost 14 one-run games last year, or we'd have been right at the top of the conference. So uh, it's it's all an unknown, you know, right now. But I, I'm pretty positive about our hopes going into the season. I think we can be okay. Is there is this fall ball bigger for you, considering you had like a bunch of your spring taken away because of your injury? Um, yeah, it it is. I didn't really, you know, get to play that much last season. Um, and then over summer, I didn't really, you know, get to be on a team or anything like that. So fall um, gives me a chance to kind of get back into it a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's it means a lot to me, I guess, to kind of see where I'm at and what I need to improve on. So yeah. Or do you talk about um, all the newcomers coming in? What kind of role do you have to take then? Being um, one of the returners, kind of leading them. Um. As a returner, it's like I know what's expected of this team and what we need to do to be successful in our league. So it's hard to be a leader without being mean because I expect so much of them already knowing that they're new. But we just want them to get on this level and be able to perform in conference and be ready for what we're going to face in the spring. Sarah, what about you? Same question. Um, yeah, I mean, you always want to hold yourself to a certain standard, and as a team, you know, you want to keep that, you know, high standard that you have. Um, and with the new girls, it, sometimes it can be a challenge, especially because there's so many of them. But, I mean, so far, I think it's going well. I don't, I think as a team, we still have a little bit of maturing to do and growing and stuff, but I think by, by spring, I think we're going to be ready 